Welcome back to RG Security Team. Today I will show you how to remotely control any Android device. Please do not misuse this tool. First open this link in your browser. The name of this tool is Almyth. Through this tool you can control any Android device remotely. This tool is user friendly. And this tool has many features which I hope you will like very much. To download the tool, copy the link and clone it to your system. The size of this tool is around 300 megabytes. The time it will take to download this tool will depend on your internet speed. Once the download is complete, first click on the Setup button, then click on Source Code Setup, then click on Kaylee Linux. All the commands to set up this tool are given on this web page. My system already has all the necessary tools downloaded, so it looks like this. It may take some time to download to your system. This tool requires Java 11. If your system is running a different version of Java, you will need to change the Java version. I already have Java version 11 installed on my system, so I'm canceling it. But you should definitely install Java version 11. Look at the number that shows Java version 11 on your system. Type that number and enter it. Then it will be installed. Now go the path I took and run the auto install Linux script with sudo, then the script will automatically set up. This process will take some time. Once the installation is complete, type Ameth in the terminal and press enter to launch the tool. However, you will need to run the tool with sudo. My system has been updated automatically, so my terminal color is like this. Please ignore it. To create the payload, go to the APK Builder section and enter the IP and port to use for reverse connection with the payload. For now, I am using the local Tonnet tunnel. You can use this tunnel too if you want. Now tick the things you want to access on the victim device. You can bind the payload to any other core application if you want. This shows that the payload has been successfully built and shows where the payload is located. Now you install the payload on your victim system. I have successfully installed the payload on my Android system, in the same way you will install the payload on your victim's device. Now we will be able to perform all the activities on this device. One thing I really like about this payload is that it automatically reconnects to the listener even if it gets disconnected for some reason.
you have such a problem building the payload, then uninstall the Zippelin tools and it will be fixed. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Stay with AR Security Team.